Okay. Hello, I am Lelia, a Brazilian textile artist, and I just graduated in the class of 2023 at Parsons in the MFA textile program. It's a pleasure to be here to present to you my beloved Olga and the Felting Faces. Originally, the entire collection of Olga depicts this kind of life was a series of art pieces created in a multiple textile techniques used to depict different stages of Olga's life. Usually in my work, I create characters and a story about them that only comes to life while I am in the process of making. Let me just, are you, okay. In this case, the story of Olga is a spiritual point of view of how soul and body embrace life, in my point of view, of course. Uh, the image here is a very last portrait of Olga's life. Here, she is giving back to Earth the physical material she borrowed to exist as a human. While her body is melting back to the ground, her soul is ready to salvation like someone asking to be rescued. So here I have some pictures of the making process. Uh, I used continue to dye the reed and I also decided to do the head with the natural color of the reed so I would get some contrast in the, in the piece. Uh, then I used the dyed reed to create the hand of Olga. Uh, it was unexpected if it would work or not because I planned it in a certain way, but it ended up being a very cool piece. I really like it, the final hand. Um, also, I was exploring how to create big baskets, uh, big shapes, so I could understand how to weave the huge body of Olga. Uh, I also explored uh, creating the baby version of Olga uh, when she was a playful and curious kid. So she had the hands floating in the air, like experimenting the joy of life and having the wind spreading her hair in the air. Um, so it was another stage of Olga's life. Um, this is the evolution of how the hand and body structure was created. I have to say sorry for the background here. It's a bit messy, uh, but it was a great spot nearby other artists that were with me in the studio. So here I was um, giving her life, experimenting how to put her, um, how to make her standing up properly. Um, this is the detail of the hand structure on the floor and how I was weaving with the aluminum wire to hold the structure together and, and get some embellishment. And so the faces, um, the faces, they represent those who beyond the wall come back to receive Olga. Um, they are known faces and have already gone to the other side before her. So that's why they are coming um, to see her now and to help her in this transition. Um, I used old clothes to create the felting pieces in a way to represent the sense of bringing them back the same way as the faces are coming back for Olga. Um, they were, I explored a lot, uh, creating uh, many different kinds of uh, styles and deconstructed, deconstructed uh, faces. And I had a great time doing it. I love it. It was very nice experiment. Here I have some other styles I created as well. And I, I did all of them in an internship that I was making. So these are examples of the old clothes that I used uh, and how I cut them and created, used the very small pieces to do like the ears or the eyes. And I was exploring and I was not properly planning anything. I was uh, making new faces out of my mind, which was um, the most exciting part for me. And so here I have the faces going through the felting machine so they could stick, the layers of fabric could stick together. And this is just a, a two final big pieces that I created as well. 
Um, they are more challenging for being big, but it was also an amazing experience. And that's it. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Lelia.